This video is brought to you by Storyblocks, the best place to go to get unlimited stock footage. What's cooking, everybody? Dave Mays here with... Zach Mayfield. And Zach is joining the Kinotika team. He's actually gonna be co-hosting with me over the next couple weeks. Check out Zach, he's awesome. The Sony ZV-1 has been out for a while now and it was initially marketed as a vlogger camera. But we know that not all of you guys out there want to be vloggers and we totally understand. This thing is made for all types of people and can be used for many different creative applications. So let's take this little bad boy out into the field and get some footage. Yes. How about that montage, huh? Wonderful montage. Let's run through some of the quick specs of this camera that you actually care about. So the Sony ZV-1 can shoot 4K up to 30 frames per second continuously without overheating. It's actually a really amazing feature that the older RX100 cameras didn't have. Also in 1080, it can go up to 120 frames per second and there's an HFR high frame rate mode where you can do 240, 480, and 960 frames per second but it just kind of gets softer the higher you go. And there's no audio, right? No audio, yeah. but there is in 120. Like silent films. Right. Top of the line eye tracking autofocus all the way up to the A9 line from Sony is implemented into this tiny little camera. Image stabilization in the lens and there's also a digital stabilization that you can activate for a little boost. Through the power of the stereo mic, I'm gonna tell you that this is regular standard steady shot. Now I'm holding it as still as I can. A little bit of panning, a little bit of movement. Now this is steady shot active, which is the stabilization via digital technology. And that was a confusing way of saying digital stabilization. The built-in lens on this is a 24 to 70 equivalent with an f1.8 aperture that goes down to 2.8 on the tight end. So as soon as you start zooming in, the aperture changes and it slowly goes to 2.8. If you want to alleviate that, just shoot 2.8 all the time. It also has all the same picture profiles that we are used to with the Sony A7 line of cameras, including S-Log, HLG, and a new standard picture profile that when you turn everything off, gives you much better skin tones. I've actually been really impressed with this new natural standard profile in this camera. It's a first from Sony. And finally, it's, it's super, super teeny, teeny tiny cute. cute. So the specs on this thing might be pretty phenomenal for a camera of this size and this price point, but if it's not practical in the field and when you're using it, then yeah, who cares? So we took this thing out and we really liked using it in the field. I like using this for home videos. You don't have to just be a little vloggy boy to use this thing. You can actually go out and make normal content using the ZV-1. I think it's perfect for those use cases. <laughs> like that. Whipping. <laughs> No. Uh, Sorry, it's a review. Gosh, darn it. How's that audio sound too? We got the the built-in mic. Let's going do a snap on. test. Is that pretty good? I'm behind mic. I'm, I'm in front of mic. In aperture priority mode, got a little bit of bokeh going on in the background here, F1.8. It seems to be handling the exposure ramps pretty nicely, pretty smooth. I mean, that's a little clipping right there. One thing I'm noticing that's kind of a bugaboo is the internal ND on this camera. When you turn it on, it's still not enough yep. to give you accurate shutter speed. So this is one 250th of a second shutter. Use case number one other than vlogging. It's a perfect travel camera. It's lightweight, it's got a compact body. You get nice shots of the Osh or people, street photography. You can take pictures of the water on your shoes. It's a great travel camera. Traveling. Oh, shoot. Dropped it. Use case number two. This thing is a perfect family camera. You could use this with your family. The kids don't care if they drop it. And I got sand in it and it's like broken now. <laughs> this was bought with his own personal money. Use case number three. It's an amazing first step into photography camera. If you've been shooting on your phone and you want a little bit of an upgrade but you don't want to spend too much money, this is a great option. It shoots raw photos. It's got different color profiles so you can practice your editing and you're going to look like a super cool influencer. This is just my phone. He's got the camera. 
Number four, this thing is a really great B camera to your A camera setup, especially if you're a Sony shooter, or even if you're a Canon shooter, having something really small, compact, that has great autofocus and a flat picture profile, like the S-Log mode on this, that has such great autofocus, 4K modes, and a flip screen, makes this a wonderful tool as a B camera. And finally, use case number five is, this is not just a vlogger's camera, this is a content creator's camera. If you have a studio and you need a B camera, maybe it's an overhead camera that has really good autofocus, this thing's affordable and small so you can mount it anywhere. Also, it has a product showcase mode where you can hold a product up to this camera and it won't just focus on your face, it'll pick up on the product with smart technology and just help you out. Product showcase mode. As soon as I hold a product up to the camera, it focuses on that. Look at this. Focus on and then instantly it focuses on it. Oh, nice. That's pretty fast. it stays on it too. I'm interrupting this incredible review with Zach and I to tell you about today's sponsor, Storyblocks. Check this out. Storyblocks is so good, I trust that they have all the B-roll that I'm about to do. Let's imagine that I'm in a scenario where I'm talking about this time I had in Germany, drinking beer, hanging out with uh, German people, you know, drinking out of a mug similar to this, and all of a sudden, there was a patch of bunnies and the bunnies were just infecting the area and they started overthrowing our space where we were eating and drinking. And then out of nowhere, a plane went over our heads and it landed in like a water area. Like it was right next to us, a water boat kind of plane thing. And then I decided to uh, get up and I looked over to my left and I saw a bunch of people just giving each other high fives hanging out, just enjoying the day in the park there. Uh, a huge collection of people too, every diversity, every single race, religion, everybody was literally in one park area all at once. It felt like a movie, it was a total dream. And thanks to Storyblocks, I was able to capture everything that I saw in reality with all that B-roll that you just saw. Everything was provided from storyblocks.com and with one simple monthly fee, you have access to thousands and thousands of video clips that you can use unlimitedly. Some things are in 4K, everything is in at least HD. In addition to the stock footage options for B-roll, you also have the ability to use motion graphics like Apple Motion or After Effects plugins that are included with your Storyblocks subscription. So if you wanna learn more about Storyblocks and use unlimited B-roll for all of your videos with a wide range of clips for bunny rabbits to drinking in German pubs, they have it. So make sure to click the first link in the description below to learn more about today's sponsor, Storyblocks. Again, thank you Storyblocks for sponsoring this video. Now back to me and Zach. So overall, this camera is really solid. We really like it. It's a perfect price point. It gives you all the features you need to go into your current lineup. It's a great B camera. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments section below. Let's ride off into the sunset, Let's Dave. Let's do it. Hold my hand. No. Make sure you subscribe. Subscribe. Like the vid. Uh, bell, bell notification. Stay away from people. Yep. See you later. Wait, where are you going? Oh, sorry. My pants are falling down.